that went the length of a Florida squad away. What were you thinking? That? Um, pretty much don't let him score. Um, I try not to think too much when I'm out there and good things happen, so I just thought don't let him score. Um, whether he tries to dunk it or not, I'm going to try and, I'm gonna try and go after him. After the UNI game, Coach McCaffrey was saying that he thought you had your best week of practice last yeah. week, and it seems that it's starting to carry over into games for you. Are you starting to play with more confidence now? Almost oh, definitely. Um, they started to cool place for me in practice. Um, I'm just trying to be an energy guy, um, be a multiple effort guy. Um, it doesn't matter if I score or if I run the lane. I have to come back, block a short rebound, show on the screen. So I'm just starting to. I'm, I'm not finally starting to realize, but it's all starting to come together, and I think a lot of people are realizing that. Tonight, Coach said he thinks the game is slowing down for you now. Would you yeah. agree with that? Oh, most definitely. Um, I'm seeing plays ahead of time. Um, I'm understanding what it takes to win. Um, I understand what I have to do every time I'm on the court, and not letting little things get to me. Um, we turned the ball over there. I could have last year. I would have. I, I might have hung my head. This year, I chased it down and blocked it. So that's pretty much what the emphasis is. You had to almost, other than you probably could have smiled a little bit after that, but you yeah. hurt your hand or something. Oh, uh, yeah, I just hit my hand on the backboard. Uh, it's nothing too bad, so I'll be fine. <laughs> so what's the next step for your game right now? Um, I think just continuing to work, um, turning up early for practices, leaving late, um, just trying to get extra reps in. Um, I think people are starting to notice I can shoot a little bit on the baseline. Um, I have to get more comfortable with my post moves. So just continue to work with Coach Francis, Coach Jill, um, all the assistants, along with Coach McCaffrey in practice, and I think, I think my offense will take another leap. How valuable do you feel this is experience these minutes you're logging now as in your development, how important is it? It's one thing to play in practice, another thing yeah. game. I think um, the one thing I know, the one thing Coach McCaffrey said um, before the season started is he's good in practice, we have to do when the lights are on. Um, so that's something I focused on. That's something, that's something you, re you can't really prepare um, in the gym. Um, that's more mental. So just understanding that it starts in practice after, it starts in practice after doing a game pretty much. So. I'm just trying to translate it all, trying to be an NG guy, and just trying to help my teammates in any way. It doesn't have to be scoring, but it certainly has to be defense. There was a little uh, point where you were playing on the court at the same time with Woodbury. Have yeah. you guys done that in practice very much? Um, we, we, did, we did it at the start of the year. Um, a few games ago, we played together. Um, coach said he wants me to learn the four and the five this year, so I know both positions. So um, I think you might see that sometimes in Big Ten play. Um, it's good to play alongside of them. Someone, someone else is going to attack the boards. Um, I feel like I can guard fours. And he can go, he can certainly go out five, so I think I think that's a good tandem. On the same note, it seems as you when you and Melson are on the court together, you guys seem to have a kind of feed off each other very, very well. Almost definitely. Melson's always in my air in practice to dunk everything, to block everything. He he he's harder on me than the coaches. Um, he always wants me to do more. Um, I run the floor, I get a dunk, I run back and get a block. He's still screaming in my ear for me to show, for me to for me to do the extra bit. So sometimes it's annoying, but he always takes me to one side and he explains to me, so it's always good.